Today we've got nuclear reactors, Air Force projects, 3D printed apartment buildings, and more right here on Vision Miner 3D Printing News, so let's get into it. Starting out today, we've got BWXT and Oak Ridge announcing developments in 3D printed nuclear reactor components. Yes, that's right. The leading nuclear and fuel component supplier, BWX Technologies, together with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, has announced advancements in the development of new additive manufacturing technology, specifically for the production of reactor components. The process now works with both high temperature alloys and refractory metals, which are crucial for the safe operation of advanced nuclear reactors. I'll say. By providing a method of 3D printing the components, the idea is that they can be rapidly deployed with all of the environmental and design benefits of additive manufacturing. According to BWXT, the use of refractory metal core components can help achieve a core exit temperature of 2700 Fahrenheit or 1482 Celsius and overall plant efficiencies of an impressive 50%. Oak Ridge also announced its development of a 3D printed nuclear reactor core using DED or directed energy deposition technology earlier this year. I think we covered that, so go ahead and scroll back through all the uh, prior episodes here. Moving right along, we've got the US Air Force picking Ascentium for MRO projects. The 3D printer producer Ascentium has been around a while now, and they've been awarded the US Air Force contract to develop additive solutions for creating aircraft parts as well as maintenance, repair, and overhaul applications. That's the MRO. Now, within the collaborative project, Ascentium will deploy its HSE 3D printing technology to accelerate aircraft repairs and quickly get aircraft back in the air. Given the current challenges in the global supply chain and the scarcity of old aircraft parts, the firm also aims to reduce the overall costs and lead times of spare parts. The sky's the limit for the potential benefits of additive manufacturing for the U.S. Air Force, says the CEO and co-founder of Ascentium. We are beyond thrilled to be awarded this contract and work with our government customers to help drive significant advancements in military parts manufacturing and advance the U.S. Air Force's military leadership. Now, we love this company. Ascentium has some amazing products from their printers to their materials, and their production-capable HSE printers are on an entirely new level. If you want thousands of parts in a week, give us a call, we'll give you the whole scoop. Next, moving right along, we've got Canon, now making 100% recycled 3D printing filament from used equipment. In a relatively surprising announcement, Canon Ecology Industry Co. Ltd., which is a company founded in 2004 for the repair and regeneration of old equipment, has independently developed two types of filaments, PCABS and HIPS, for 3D printers, made from 100% recycled plastic. Now, it's not just recycled plastic. This filament is made from the recycled plastic of the exteriors of broken and old Canon multifunction devices, including printers, copiers, and toner cartridges collected over the years from the market. Now, this is a whole new spin on the 3D printing printers from printers with printers. Yeah, anyway, now the two filaments, one PCABS, super well known for excellent heat resistance and high strength, uh, and HIPS filament, which has excellent impact resistance and it can be dissolved in limonene if you can get that in your state to use it as a support material. Now, if you're liking this video, please go hit that like button and uh, give it a share if you can. As always, it lets us know that you're enjoying the content, but more so it helps us out on the Skynet. I mean, uh, the algorithms of YouTube. So, please help us get this out to more people with that easy little button click. Moving right along, we've got the first 3D printed apartment building in Germany and it's now under construction. Located in Bavaria, Germany, the building will accommodate five apartments across three floors with approximately 380 square meters or 4,000 square feet of living space built using a 3D construction printer called the BOD2. Uh, now, as the printer is the fastest on the market, the team behind the ambitious scheme says that they can only expect the printing process to take six weeks for an entire apartment building. Now, they're printing at a speed of one meter a second. The BOD2 takes just five minutes to complete a one square meter double skin wall. Now, of course, once the construction is complete, the apartment's gonna get rented out uh, using one of the units that's already built as a show apartment. Next, we've got, despite COVID, the 3D printing market will be worth $45 billion in 2030. That's right, it's only going up. So make sure you're subscribed to see all the news here while it happens over the next decade. <laughs> anyway, uh, this report takes an in-depth look 
at the established printer types, including VAP photopolymerization, SLA, DLP, CLIP, uh, powder bed fusion, which is SLS, DMLS, EBM, material extrusion, material jetting, binder jetting, directed energy jet position, and sheet lamination. Now, this report forecasts the overall 3D printing market to 2030 with in-depth discussion of currently commercialized and emerging printer technologies. Some of the key questions that are answered in this report are, how will COVID impact the 3D printing industry? Uh, what are the current and emerging printer technology types in 2020? Or how do the metrics such as price, build speed, and build volume and uh, precision vary by printer type? And what are the strengths and weaknesses of different 3D printing technologies? And many, many more definitely worth checking out. Link in the description. Next, we're moving right along into the news blitz. This week, there's a ton of cool stuff happening. Despite everything in the world, this industry is not stopping. So let's get right into it. 3D Systems unveils advancements in creation of the world's largest, fastest powder metal 3D printer for CCDC Army Research Laboratory. Firehawk Aerospace raises $2 million for its 3D printed rocket propulsion tech. And the rise of 3D printed bongs. Yep, yep, we're going there. Harvard scientists developing algae-infused bio-ink to improve the viability of bio-printed tissues. Researchers develop 3D-printed spiderweb-inspired shatterproof material. This one's really cool, definitely check that out. Sculptio and BASF launch a new bio-sourced nylon PA-11 material, an entire range of materials, actually. We've got a breakthrough in 3D-printing graphene self-powered sensors for smart tires. We've got the Australian Navy starting a pilot program with a large format warp speed metal 3D printer. These guys are crazy. Uh, very cool technology there. Check it out. And of course, the iPhone 12 Pro's LiDAR scanner and 3D printing. What's it gonna mean? We got a 3D scanner on our iPhones now, or is it? Can it be? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, go ahead and go leave us a comment. And let us know what you thought of this video, news stories that you thought were cool that we might have missed, or of course, another funny comment. By the way, guys, we do have a full video on the iPhone LiDAR scanning as well as the R&D tax credit slash section 179. So if you're wondering how you can get those credits or how they really apply to you, make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that you see when that video comes out or it's probably already out by the time you're watching this. Whether it's 2020 or 2021, it's a huge advantage to all small businesses, small being under $50 million a year. So make sure to check those out. Here at Vision Miner, we specialize in functional 3D printing, especially high performance plastics like Peak, Ultim, PPSU, and more. So if you're into high performance 3D printing and you need that kind of material for your business, feel free to reach out. We can definitely help you make the right choice for your application, and it might not even be something we sell. Just give us a call. We love hearing from you guys. Anyway, have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.